begin with, let's select all of the text on our image in Illustrator and save as EPS. We'll select the oldest available EPS filter for Illustrator. Ensure that the thumbnail and embedded previews are not included. Also ensure that the information tab is not checked. Now let's go to laser style, create a job definition that's larger than the object that we're importing and select import and go to our EPS file type. This works better than selecting all files and will automatically merge and connect layers. Next let's go to our alignment tools and center our work on our workpiece. Ungroup and in case there are multiple layers click ungroup twice select the outer contours of your plaque if those are drawn into your image and let's turn those to an aqua blue color which we'll later assign as being skip or none then we'll select our graphic images remove any vector lines that are single strokes such as these uh, decorative lines they're not closed contours they're open contours so they'll need to be processed separately will group the objects together except for those vector lines that are open contours and assign it a color for processing. I will assign that as being a filled color. Now we can go and select those uh, vector lines that are open contours and apply a different color to those and we'll give them a black color and right now they're hairlines and we'll go up and add a value so that they're wide enough for the laser process. Typically ten thousandths is the, the thinnest that you would um, assign these so that they show up in the image. Now going to assign our aqua colored contours as none. We'll assign our green contours that are fill as raster and we'll assign our black contours as raster as well since we've widened the hairlines thick enough to be processed. We can make any other assignments such as auto Z, uh, a plate drop, or use our wood smoothing settings then go and preview our job to ensure that it's going to laser the way we intended. And we can see here that my line wasn't wide enough for the hairlines for the, the separator bars. So we'll go back in and select those and assign them a wider contour thickness so that they're wide enough for the laser to process them in raster mode instead of vector. Now when we go back and preview the job again, not only our text but also our divider lines will show up. And our job looks good to run, so we can now send that over to the laser.